We're going to look at the 2017 AP Chemistry FRQ question number four. This is a four-point question, and it has to do with uh, paper chromatography. So here's a picture that I found on the internet of a paper chromatogram, and notice that you know we start off down here uh, with the source, and then it smears up, and then here is the uh, solvent front. So the way that goes, and that's important. So the the where it starts, okay, where the things end up and the solvent front. So looking at the question, it says a student investigates various dyes using paper chromatography. The student has samples of three pure dyes labeled A, B, and C, and an unzoned sample that is one of those three dyes. The student prepares the chromatography chambers shown above on the left by putting a drop of each dye at the indicated position on the chromatography paper, a polar material that's critical, Okay, so the paper is polar and standing in a nonpolar solvent. So the developed chromatograms are shown here on the right. So which dye, A, B, or C, is the least polar? Least polar. So let's think about this. If the paper is polar, polar things are going to stick to that paper. And the nonpolar things are going to go with the solvent. So whoever moves a little bit, okay, that guy's polar, that guy's polar. So the least polar is going to be die C, the one that moves the furthest. Okay, polar things will stick to the polar paper. So the non, the least polar, the nonpolar, will go the farthest. So the answer is C. Okay, why? Because it is the least likely to stick to the paper. It's the most likely to dissolve in the nonpolar solvent. Okay, which dye is present in the unknown sample? So here's our unknown, and the critical piece about that is how far did it move compared to the solvent? Okay, so it looks like it went about halfway. So here's the solvent. This unknown goes about halfway. So back here, here's the solvent. Who goes about halfway? Okay, dye A. So the answer down here, which dye is present in the unknown sample? Justify your answer. We're going to say it's A, and because it moved about halfway compared to the solvent. So part A is worth two points. Okay, first point is saying that it's point C with some kind of reference to the um, chromatogram. So that's worth a point. And then saying that, you know, it's either the least likely to stick to the paper or the most likely to dissolve in the nonpolar. So it's a polar, polar, nonpolar, polar kind of thing. The second, that's two points. Okay, the second points over here are, you know, saying that this is A, and so if you said that die A is the answer, okay, then the second point for that one is the fact that you say, well, it moved about half as far as the solvent. Okay, it's the ratio with the solvent, and so that lets you know that it must be die A moved about halfway compared to the solvent. Now, people across the nation were talking about, well, here is the unknown, and it's kind of moving about the same as die A, so they think it's die A. So they got one point for saying A, but they didn't get any point for uh, saying that it's halfway from what the solvent front does. So that's a chromatogram.